When you look at what I have on right now, my little nude ensemble, it all resembles whiteness. These Prejudice of Nude in the Fashion Industry by Lily, Sydney, Amanda, and Catherine. Racial prejudice has had a strong influence in the fashion industry, yet it often goes unaddressed because the racism is internalized and often subtle enough that it is unconscious to those who are not victims of it. The interpretation of the color nude is particularly controversial. The definition of nude has recently changed. It used to be having the color of a white person's skin, and now it has changed to a color that matches the wearer's skin tone. This is a big change. On a majority of fashion and clothing related websites, however, light skin tones are the only result when the color nude is searched. We searched for nude items at many different websites for different stores, and each time peach skin tones that would be considered nude for white people dominate the web page. This is racism. For young girls looking for a pair of nude shoes for a school dance, all they see is that they are not of the normal skin tone. This is just another influence on people of color where they see that they are not accepted and normal, leading to internalized racism. The fashion industry has made it okay to forget about minorities and exclude them from the clean and professional look of nude shoes and other nude related items. This is something that women of color deal with and struggle with their entire lives. Nude is not an option for black women. I would say it's very difficult for me to find nude items for my skin complexion. Probably have to go to the section that has brown lipsticks, which is interesting because why is nude the lighter color? The issue is present in women's underwear too. Nude colored underwear is a staple in every girl's wardrobe. A bra that cannot be seen underneath a white blouse is an invaluable time saver. Most well-known underwear brands, such as Victoria's Secret, don't offer a range of nude shades to fit a girl of every skin tone, favoring a fair and peachy shade for their nude colored bras. Sexy? This needs to be about three shades darker. If I had to choose, I would probably choose the bras with the clear straps. I should look like a nipple-less human being. Even when popular stores offer such shade range, the darker underwear is oftentimes labeled as brown or a shade of brown like caramel. This exclusion of the darker shades from being labeled as nude when the fairer peachy skin tones are being labeled as nude further emphasizes the fact that darker skin tones are not the norm. Additionally, when companies produce a clothing line that offers an extended range of shades of nude, they don't typically include colors that would represent other minorities such as Asian Americans or Latina populations. The idea of being put in the category of other is present throughout the bluest eye. The book opens with a portrayal of the popular book Dick and Jane, which leads the African American girls in the bluest eye to view themselves as being different, not part of the norm. Advertisements in media that only feature lighter skin tones, such as the Mary Jane candy bar, are congruent to the labeling of nude as only for lighter skin tones. Both of these represent the fact that minorities are being placed outside the category of normal, which in turn leads to internalized racism. Human being. I'm wearing a nude leotard by American Apparel. This is beige, like a beige paint on the wall at like your grandma's house. Right. It's, it doesn't match my skin tone. I, I, I never really like nude tights. Like I had to wear them in dance class, but I always thought it was extremely weird that we had to wear nude tights and none of us were that color. I think that if I really wanted nude pantyhose, my best bet would be to get some plastic wrap and wrap it around my legs. There are some companies within the fashion industry that are working to eradicate this prejudiced interpretation of nude. Nubian Skin is a brand of women's undergarments specifically geared toward women of color. Founder Aid Hassan used to struggle finding clothes to suit her dark skin, and in 2014 she decided to start her own line of bras, underwear, and pantyhose in a variety of medium to dark tones. She says her company was born out of frustration at the racism of the fashion industry, and her goal is to redefine the color nude. Several other brands such as Nude Bar, Jenny Burry, and Louboutin 
have taken similar actions and are now selling nude products for every color of skin. These brands are helping the movement to redefine nude as a concept rather than a singular color.